All right, this seems to be the year of the Anoli. <laughs> Giving them some credit. Notice the swelling on both sides, left rather than right. We actually have a bilateral oral abscess. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, sedate this uh, this guy and uh, see if we can get those lanced and start them with some antibiotics. All right, that's it for now. Oh, Keep playing. Okay, All right, our little buddy here has been mashed down. There's a chunk I'm looking for. Yeah, oh, meat. We'll flush that in a second. Let me go to this side. Two plus cams and one. Oh, yeah. Good. You'll pay extra for that. Be some anatomical difference that makes these guys actually plus can behind the ear as opposed to through the ear. Oh, that was a big chunk. That's, that's all of it. These swabs are soaked with chlorhexidine. Ooh, another big chunk. Little buddy, you should be waking up any minute now. All right, swelling is gone, both sides. I think we're done. Are we breathing? Yes, we are. Little buddy here will be waking up any second now.
I won't even tell you what she's pointing yeah, at, but it could be a dirty is, thing. <laughs> there you go. You're starting to move a little bit. Come on, little creature. Wake her up. There you go. Wake up. Anyway, this is our second and only. This is actually the second one in a cage. Um, a client had a, uh, a cat who was a very good hunter, and every time they would bring them home, she would actually get them and fix them and keep them healthy. Anyway, this is the second one in the, in the household to have this uh, oral abscess type formation. So what's going to happen is we've uh, anesthetized, lanced, and guessed at an antibiotic, seeing as how she didn't want to pay for a culture at the time. So what we're going to do now, I just made a phone call before this procedure, and made sure the other one had not had any signs of relapse at all and so far so good so we're uh, not going to do a culture today there you go I'm not going to do a culture today but uh, rest assured that so far so good with the other one that we don't probably won't need to specifically oh there you go yeah but it's been lanced and so far so good all right yeah and then from fish eye regular all right these guys are actually very beautiful species remember when i was a kid you could actually order these as american chameleons for like three dollars and fifty cents you could have one mailed to your front door and back then, having exotic animals was not as easy as it is now. We didn't know what we knew about UVB or even UVA radiation and their need for both or even the kind of foods these guys needed. Now we know all kinds of stuff. So keep one of these guys a lot easier than it used to be. Oh, wait. Oh, you're getting up. I was also told this one is not as nice as the other one. Put things in perspective. That is how long this guy is. He is tiny. One of two males in a tank. There you go. Hey. Oh no. But you gotta feel better. Okay, we're waking up. I'm gonna put this guy back in this cage. Later. Alright, here we are just uh <laughs> seconds after the procedure. After she woke up anyway. He sorry. Heat. And we're already moving around doing pretty well. I love this, it's awesome. And to put things in perspective, that's the cage. 